Teenager reunited with her biological parents 18 years after she was allegedly snatched from the hospital as a newborn. Meeting the family she never knew she had, ABC's Eva Pilgrim is in Walterboro, South Carolina, covering an emotional reunion. Eva, good morning to you. Good morning. It's the moment these biological parents have been waiting all these years for. They say they know it's going to take time, but right now they're just happy they've finally gotten to see their little girl. This morning, the woman, once known as Baby Camilla, reuniting with her birth family 18 years after being kidnapped from a Florida hospital. Craig Aiken, her biological father, grateful, sharing these photos with ABC News. First meeting was beautiful. It was wonderful. It couldn't have went no better. The birth family meeting in private at a police department in South Carolina, where Aiken's biological daughter was raised, now going by the name Alexis. She was just eight hours old when a mysterious woman snuck her out of a hospital hospital. Nurses and staff say they thought the woman was family. I just want to know where my baby is at. I just want my baby back. Police launched an all out search for the infant. The case even featured on America's Most Wanted. But nothing until now. New tips sending investigators to South Carolina. According to police, DNA testing proving the 18 year old is the missing baby. Police say the woman who took her, 51 year old Gloria Williams, raised her as her own. We're speaking to uh, as many people as we can to try to paint a picture of what may have happened 18 years ago. Williams, the only mother the teen has ever known, is now behind bars and facing kidnapping charges. <laughs> She's processing everything, um, and she's going to probably take, have to take this day by day. And this morning, Williams is behind bars here in South Carolina. Authorities are planning to extradite her back to Florida, but that could take up to 20 days. Van and Paula. All right, Eva, such a remarkable and complicated story. Emotionally, can only imagine. Thank you very much, Eva.